Standing out as a web designer in 2025 can feel like an impossible task. I mean, it literally feels like every other person is a web designer now. But one thing that can really make you stand out from the crowd is an amazing portfolio. I mean, your portfolio can literally be the only reason why you're either killing it or you're struggling to sign any clients. This is why in today's video, I've picked out five stunning portfolio websites built in Framer. We will explore each one to help you get inspired for your own website. And by the way, I got all of these websites from sitespo.com. So if you ever need inspiration, you can check it out. Let's get started. Now, at first glance, this first website might look a bit too simple. I mean, we have a cool heading font, some illustrations, but nothing special, right? Well, you're wrong. The magic here happens in the beautiful interaction animations. The reason why I love this design so much is because it doesn't have anything unnecessary. Literally zero fluff. We have three projects that are designed by Roman, which redirect to the live website when clicked and also have beautiful animations and illustrations on hover. And when you click the last illustration, it opens up another simple yet beautiful page, which gives you more info about the designer. At the bottom of the page, we have a beautiful call to action that allows you to send him an email or directly book a call. The bottom bar also has an amazing hover effect, which shows his social media profiles. The second website also has a beautifully minimalistic design. The font that's used here is Geist, which is an amazing free font. Again, we have a zero bullshit approach. We have a simple headline and a gallery of projects. Once again, the project page is very simple, yet very effective. We have two paragraphs for some brief information and everything below are pictures of the project. At the bottom of the page, we have a very clean hover effect that leads you to the next project in his portfolio. The about page is indeed a little text heavy, but I mean, that's what an about page is for. One area that lacks in this portfolio is the absence of call to actions. However, in this case, this is completely intentional. This is because the designer already has a full-time position and is not looking for any work. But if he was, simply adding a few buttons will turn this portfolio into a magnet for leads. The next website's entrance animation is absolutely stunning. We once again have a minimalistic hero section with a video show reel below. Once you get past it, we see the portfolio section. We have a very subtle hover effect that slowly zooms in when your mouse enters and quickly zooms out when it leaves the image. Below that, we have client logos, a services accordion section and a parallax footer. Now, one thing about this website is how smooth it feels to scroll through. This is achieved with the smooth scroll component, which I will leave a link to in the description. It's available in the free Remix UI plan. You can see Simply copy and paste it onto your own website and it will make scrolling a pleasure. Now the project page in this portfolio focuses mainly on images, but we do see some paragraphs here and there. All of this makes for a simple, but overall a very solid portfolio. The next website, although it loads quite slowly, is a pleasure to wait for it to load up. That's because of the beautiful loader animation it has. It simply is fun to look at. Now, once we get to the hero section, it is very striking. We have an animated 3D element in the background and a beautiful font pairing that makes for a super elegant look. The transition effect on the hero section is also stunning. Once again, very smooth and fun to scroll through. The project section is quite simple, but what more do you really need? Under the projects, we transition into yet another stunning scroll animation that leads into the about section. Below it, we have an experience section with a download CV button. Then we see the skill set section with an elegant minimalistic design. And finally, the footer has another 3D video, email, and a phone number. Now, if we scroll back up to the projects and pick one, we will see the project showcase page. Now, this is structured as a more detailed case study page telling a story of how the project came to be while showcasing impressive images. Images. This is a great project page structure if you're trying to go after bigger, more corporate clients. Also, when you scroll to the bottom, we have a next project button that has an amazing hover interaction. Now, the last portfolio we'll look at is quite different than the previous four. It has way more personality to it in contrast to the minimalistic designs we just saw. The colors really pop and make for a nice branded feel. We have big text on the hero and a big call to action. As we start scrolling, we first see the services. Then we move to the project showcase section, which is pretty simple, but it absolutely does its job. Now in this website, we don't have a separate project page, which I think would greatly improve this portfolio. Now, instead of that, when we click on one of the projects, it redirects us to the live website. This still does the job, but I would have really preferred an internal project page 
especially because some of the websites are no longer live and you can't see anything. After that, we see a process section, which does a great job at illustrating how simple it is to start working with these guys. And below it, we have two super fun pricing cards, which definitely give it a unique branded look. So this is the selection that I prepared for you guys today. I hope you took some inspiration. And if you need more, you can check out sidespo.com. You can also explore our premium framer templates at wisetemplates.com. And if you want to build framer websites faster and easier, check out the Remix UI, which is a collection of components and sections you can simply copy and paste into your project and easily customize. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.